Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Pokemon Sleep. As I mentioned yesterday, I am traveling today, so you get Memoji me for today's video. Let's jump into last night's sleep research and see how things have turned out. I did have a couple of false starts and ends, so it's got to clear up any of the uh, yeah data errors that may show up. But there should be some sleep data for me to find. Hopefully it all turned out well. I've been trying to find a more proper place to put position things, and it looks like it that <laughs> worked out compared to last time. Just a lot more dozing sleep. Just position on the bed gets a lot more of the rocking and rolling, and when you have a firmer frame, it tends to reverberate that a little bit more. But still, happy to have <laughs> a fully recorded sleep session, unlike the last time I was traveling where it cut off because it wasn't moving at all. So dozing wins out today. But that's okay. That just helps us to see some Pokemon that we normally don't see. At least the ones that I haven't seen from snoozing. And maybe that's the reason I haven't been seeing half of the other Pokemon that I've been looking for on Snowdrop Tundra. 51 million drowsy power. We've got one, two, and three stars. Not quite a full grip, a full stable of Pokemon today. I haven't hit Master 1, so that's fine. We'll still get 8 with the good camp ticket. Alright, so we've got Mankey, we've got Krogunk. Alright, Altaria! One new sleep style. Primate... Well, a lot of uh, the Mankey and Krogon family. Deli Bird, let's go, yes! And Haunter, alright. So two new sleep styles today brings us down to needing only two more for the next sleep goal. And Deli Bird showed up. That makes me very happy. Ah, oh, that's why. It's dozing sleep. I mean, I guess I could have looked this up earlier and kind of helped to understand what was going on, but come on. Yeah, I'm, I'm having fun figuring some of this stuff out without having to consult the internet for everything. So yeah, looks like I need dozing type if I really want to see Deli Bird regularly. This is its one star sleep style. And good old Altaria. Up until we got Dratini, one of the only dragon types. Feather nested sleep. And this is my first Altaria. It sleeps wrapped inside its wings, looking like a cottony cloud, nestled within such soft, beautiful wings. Soundly snoozing Altaria may well be enjoying the most comfortable sleep ever. Well, again, yeah, it's basically a down pillow everywhere on its body. I would hope that it gets really good sleep. Alright. That's what I was hoping. I have plenty of Swablu, so there are Pokemon I can use to evolve it. Deli Bird is literally one pip away. Good, small ingredient tickets, helping me to replenish the tickets that I have gone through in the last couple of days. And since Altaria is only a second stage evolution, Doesn't have nearly as much pips to recruit. And it's critical. Alright, that, that's nice. But I'm honestly most excited to get Deadly Bird. Didn't see it during the holiday event. Or if I didn't. 
things just didn't work out. But that's good for now. Everybody else I've got good iterations of, and I'm at a good spot on my Krogunk search that uh, I just need to use a little bit of skill seeds to get one to working order. So that'll take care of our research today. Ah, uh, definitely gonna see here. Delibird. Do not get enough of that. Oh, so close. Rank up tomorrow. That's fine. Alright, Altaria. Level 20 and relaxed. The berry collector. And this one's got egg egg, which is a good start. Uh, only two berries collected, so no berry finding us in the level 10 slot. No ranked up skill, so it doesn't have that either. Ingredient finder. Skill level up. Inventory up. Helping speed. Skill trigger. With a nature that helps a little bit. Hmm. Okay. I'll take a look at the stats later. Um, probably not going to have that in rotation anyway because I would want to get a swap blue up. But it was just cool to just... We, we got an Altaria. Deadly Bird, however. How, how are we looking? Rash nature. Eggs across the board. So that's great to see. Um, okay. Ingredient magnets at level one. Skill trigger. Ingredient finder. Skill level up. Inventory up. Helping speed. With ingredient finding up. That looks pretty good to me. I mean, ingredient finder at 25, it's already at 23, so... It has really the, the three things you kind of want to see in, in a halfway decent ingredient collector. It's got ingredient finding M. It's got oh, something that does increase its inventory capacity. Uh, because as a single stage Pokemon, like, 20 is going to be good, so it's great right off the gate. But that inventory up L at 75 is going to be big, especially for a solo egg collector. And on top of that, um, the nature that helps it to find ingredients. Feeling really good about this. I mean, even if it's anywhere in like the 80 percentile, that's fine by me. Just to have a dedicated egg collector that I can pop in when I need them at the last minute. That's great. Alright. Get everyone recovered. Some sneaky snacking. I think we will have to get a change up in the team before breakfast. Just to help gather some additional ingredients. Okay, so happy to see that town. Two Pokemon left, and I still haven't seen a Snowbird yet. That's probably also in the Dozing family. So we'll see. I'm just been kind of having fun letting them show up where need be. No additional news today. We've already got quite a lot in the last week. How's the community doing? 44, all right. Back on the upswing. Do enjoy that. Alrighty. Let us collect some ingredients. Oh, grip of berries from Pikachu because I was out and about yesterday. Oh, good. Ingredient triggers left and right.
Okay. Now that we have collected our ingredients, let's see. How am I doing on... I've got a good chunk of potatoes and a good chunk of fiery herbs. So like, I feel like I should be able to get through the rest of the day being able to make what I want, but I'm low on corn. Oh, I finally have exhausted Beware's pretty ridiculous amount of corn production. So, what I'd like to do in that case... Get Beware back on the team for some more corn. And... Let's see... Since I do want ingredients, we'll get Blastoise on there as well. Not fully healed, but that's okay. It's Sunday. I'm probably honestly going to be like cooking maybe one or two dishes today, not the full clip, so that's okay. And we'll collect Wigglytuff after making breakfast. we've got enough for grilled tail curry. We've got 153 ingredient slots. Probably not even going to be making lunch with this big of a capacity. I forgot that with the good camp ticket, I'm also getting that doubled. So there's a lot of room in this pot. Where else do I want to pull from? another 10 to go. Can get one more tail in there so I've got an even 10 left. We're gonna be getting a lot of corn so I can throw in some there. Alright, I just hope this turns out extra tasty because that is a big old pot. Alright. Yeah, I mean, just the raw dish strength a little- oh, yes! <laughs> 77,000 dish strength. I can probably chill for the rest of the day on that. That's a nice- well, let's see how that turns out on how far we're getting up the power meter today. Oh, skipping Master 1 entirely. Nice. Oh, it said Master 2, but... Uh... <laughs> okay, what it really meant was tripping over Master 1. Oh no, it did... <laughs> What's going on, game? Skipping Master 2 straight to Master 3. That one extra tasty was all it needed. Well, that takes care of getting the week's rewards, which I did not think was going to happen. A 
Y'all are seeing what I'm seeing, right? So, hit Master 2. There's some, I guess, some bugs going on there. Make sure to report that. Okay, we're at Master 2, not Master 3. <laughs> yeah, it's like another... Oh, 80,000? So I'd have to cook another one of those. Okay. I'm happy with even just getting into Master in week one. So, I will probably be leaving it at that. Oh, there's a medal. For reaching Master 1, some more diamonds. Wonderful. Yeah, it seems like there's some bugs in the number reporting. So it would be kind of strange that one extra tasty meal... I mean, 77 is a, not a small-sized dish, but uh, I think that was enough to get it through an entire rank with no additional bonuses. Okay. But things look good where they are. I'm happy that we're at Master 2. Uh, that means with that 5% bonus, Master 3 will probably be well within reach the next time I visit. And then we just uh, keep chugging along. And it's... It's, it's Rallo uh, Lucario Incense, so it's not that big of a deal for me since I've got them, and they're, they're Dream Shard bonus Pokemon, so I don't need it just yet. There'll well, come a time when I'll need them on the team to <laughs> help power level some Pokemon, but for now, we're good. The one last thing I wanted to report in on was our Flappy from yesterday is 86%. So, not quite our 99 Ampharos, but still pretty good. I'm very excited to see what this Deli Bird turns out to be. But that is what I have for today. Nice, easy, breezy, and then back to your regularly scheduled programming tomorrow. So, thank you for stopping by. Let me know how your week's going down in the comments below. Are you excited for the events coming up ahead? I'll see you back for some more sleep research, but until then, sleep well. <laughs>